another Call of Duty video. Today we're back guys in Vanguard and we're going to be taking a look at the exclusive brand new weapon, the Cooper Carbine Gunsmith weapon that you're going to be able to obtain from the Battle Pass. But we've been fortunate enough to get early access to this weapon and tell you guys exactly what is the best thing about the weapon. What are the pros? What are the cons? How can you better this weapon to actually give you the perfect aim, give you better proficiency, and if this weapon's going to be more of a Warzone weapon or if it's going to be more of a multiplayer weapon. So if all of this sounds like something you're definitely interested in, a like would be greatly appreciated. But before we dive in, I do have a question for you guys. What is your favorite assault rifle in Warzone? Let me know in the comment section. So to better understand what we're trying to go here for this particular weapon is we understand what the actual copper carbine purpose is in the game. Now, the best way to describe that is by the description of the gun. The gun is meant to be an assault rifle mixed with an SMG combo. So we're looking for two primary things here. Number one, we're looking for fast hip fire because we are going to be hip firing with this gun as well. And we're also going to be looking for fast aim down sight speed as this weapon is going to be kind of our close quarter mid-range gun. We're not going to be firing long distances, but we are going to be firing at 30, 40, 50 meters out. And we want to make sure the gun is as accurate as it could possibly be there without having too much recoil sway. So how do we go about putting that bad boy together where it gives us all those benefits? So let's start off with the muscle. Like I said, this loadout will probably change once Warzone comes out because we're going to have to swap things around. But for multiplayer, this is what I found to actually be pretty good. And I'll tell you guys what I believe is going to be pretty OP in Warzone. So, first and foremost, guys, for multiplayer, you kind of theoretically don't need the silencer, but I would actually become a little bit accustomed to the silencer just because you're going to be getting that negative damage range. Now, in Warzone, it won't be much of a big deal, but in multiplayer, it's a little bit of a big deal, but I just want you guys to get the feel for the gun, and, uh, you know, I would probably put the uh, silencer just so you guys can get that going. Now, for the barrel, guys, we're going to go with the 8-1. The reason why we're going with this one is going to give us aim down sight speed. It's going to give us aim walking movement speed, and sprint to fire speed so a lot of fast stuff right there we lose the fire rate which is fine because with the reduction of the fire rate it's going to allow us to control the weapon just a tad bit because if this weapon's firing like bah, 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 your your recoil is going to be all over the place so you want to make sure you have that recoil control and accuracy all right guys so for the barrel guys we're going to go with the 18 ragdoll g45 now the reason why we're going with this one once again is because we're tying this to warzone just a little bit for multiplayer you could probably go with the eight ragdoll short this is going to be a very good one the gameplay i was showing you guys actually i was playing with this and testing this out this is going to be really good you do lose a little bit of fire rate which the fire rate is going to be helping you with the fire rate reduction helps you because it's going to help you control the gun just a tad bit and you do lose a little bit of kind of the recoil control and accuracy, but it's not that much big of a difference as you guys saw the gameplay. But I think for Warzone, and if you want to just get used to the, the gun itself, I would probably go with Ragdog because you get bullet velocity and range, so it's going to give you give that SMG AR style weapon, give it a little bit more, more bullet distance. Plus, it's going to also let you control the recoil of the gun, so it should make it very effective. Now, for optics, guys, there are two ones that I want to re recommend here. The monochlor reflector, I actually like this. It's a circular scope. It gives you a 1.35, so it gives you a little bit of nice further zoom scope, uh, and it has a very clear lens. And the other one that I would probably recommend, guys, of course, is the slate reflector. This is actually pretty good. Once again, you're going with the 1.3 magnifier, but it does give you a little bit of, uh, it takes a little bit more of your camera. Uh, one of the two, whichever one you guys prefer, circular or squared, it's going to be all up to you. Now, for the stock, guys, we are going to go with the Copper 45, which is the first one here, because we're getting the following. We're getting uh, accuracy uh, recoil, aim down sight speed, and recoil recovery. So that recoil recovery is going to be very helpful because you want to make sure you're mi mitigating that recoil. The only problem is, guys, you lose hip fire accuracy, which is not that big of a deal because you're mostly hip firing that up close. And you get accuracy and recoil during uh, sustained fire. So when people are shooting you, your recoil is going to be a little bit jumpy, but we'll compensate that with a different attachment here. So for the under barrel, guys, we're going to go with the 1941, the hand stop. The reason why is we're getting picking up that recoil control. We're picking up that accuracy. We're losing a little bit of hip fire, but like I said, you're mostly going to be up close and personal. So up close and personal will allow you to maintain the hip fire control regardless of you to losing at least two points of that. Now, we're going to be talking about the rounds per magazine. Now, the rounds per magazine are a little bit crazy because we have multiple options here, and I think one is going to be more beneficial in Warzone than the other one. So just for multiplayer, I went with the 45-round mags because 20-round mags and 25-round mags are not very good when it comes to multiplayer. Or even in Warzone, you want to have enough in the clip to at least kill three to four opponents, and those 20 rounds 
And those 25 rounds are going to put you in a really bad disadvantage. So we kind of just have two ways of going about this. Now, the 34, the 45 round mags, it does give you bullet velocity and range, giving you the nice range damage. You're bullet, picking a bullet penetration magazine ammo capacity, but you are losing a lot of that recoil control. And that's what you guys saw on the majority of the attachments that we actually added. We were applying recoil control because of this particular reason. Now, if you decide to go the other route, which is the 60 round mags, there's going to be a smaller bore caliber, and it does increase your control mobility, but it's going to it pretty much reduce the power. So you got to keep that in mind. You're going to have to fire a little bit more bullets, but you are picking up a lot of positive stuff. The only thing you're going to be losing a lot. So I'm going to go with the, I'm going to recommend the 45 rounds even for Warzone and for multiplayer. I think that's the best way to go because we're able to pick up a little bit of the negatives from another one. So for this one, guys, we're going to go lightning. Uh, there, there's multiple ways that you can go here. But I like that bullet velocity since I want to make sure that this weapon is really good up close. And I also want to make sure that this weapon is really good at further distance. But you have multiple ways to go. You can go incendiary, compressed rounds, subsonic. Uh, yes, you know, whatever. I'm going to leave that up in the air for you guys. But I think lightning is going to be really good for multiplayer. Now, for rear grip, guys, there are multiple ways we can go here because it's going to just be a matter of picking up whatever we have most negatives on. So if we have a lot of negatives on accuracy, rear coil control. I think stippled, though, is the way to go on this one because you're going to get that rec recoil recovery. So you're going to be able to bring this back into, into line of sight. And you get the initial accuracy on recoil. So once again, making this weapon very stable when you're using it. Then for proficiency, guys, we're going to go with vital. This one, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. You can go with any route here. There's multiple ones where you can go with ice in, ice in the veins, which is really, really good. Uh, vital. Fleet is also pretty good. So that one's going to be up in the air for you guys. And for the kid, I always like getting fully loaded. I like making sure I start out with a little bit more ammo when I'm using the weapon. But that one is up in the air as well. But overall, in general, guys, if you put this load out, you're going to notice the benefits of this one. Good stability, good hip fire, and good long-range, mid-range combat, and short-range combat. So making this weapon very powerful. I think this weapon is going to be very, very strong. It's gonna. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Graw uh, when it comes to Warzone. I haven't played it in Warzone, but what I can tell you, it has a lot of similarities. So if you guys are looking for a weapon that you might want to start leveling up as soon as the Battle Pass comes out, this is definitely the weapon you want to do. I hope you guys are enjoying our content here on the channel. If you are, do me a huge favor, guys. Drop a comment, drop a like. But most importantly, guys, show some love and support and subscribe to the channel. Turn on all your notifications so you can stay up to date to everything Warzone. We cover a ton of shooters here, so if you love shooters like I do, then this is definitely the channel you want to be sub to. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Eliminate all hostiles. UHL ready for report. Glide bomb ready for time. The enemy is.